Hi. Today we're going to insert a checkbox using a form control and link that to a cell. In this project plan, what I'd like to do is to add checkboxes here in column C and have the value as, and have the action of checking something off populate this information completed there in column F. So to insert the checkbox, first I'm going to need the developer tab on the ribbon. I'm going to right-click on my office ribbon and customize it. And there on the right, check off developer. Now with that tab active, I have the controls area insert, and there's two types of controls, the form checkbox and the active X. This time around, we're going to focus on the form one. I'm clicking and dragging where I want the checkbox to occur. Now we'll do a little bit of cleanup here. We don't need the extra labeling text, so I'm going to right click on the control and edit the text just by getting rid of it. I'm deleting the extra label. Then I'm going to right-click on the control once more, this time to format it. So it's on the control tab in this dialog box. I have the option of indicating the default check state, unchecked, checked, or mixed. I can also turn on 3D shading. But my focus here is going to be linking this to a cell. So I'm going to place the focus there in that area as I now click on what cell I want to link this to. And then OK. Now, unfortunately, you can't really just copy these and paste them into the, uh, into the subsequent cell locations because that reference is an absolute one. It's linked to specifically cell F10. And if I make multiple copies of that checkbox, they're all going to link to the one cell, cell F10. So I'm going to do that one once more. Insert form controls. So I place my checkbox here. As before, I'll edit the text and get rid of the unnecessary label and right-click on it, format the control. This is a good point to reference that one of the things with this checkbox that is a little bit, well, problematic is that the option for properties, it will not move and size itself with the cells. It has options to move, but don't size, options to not move and size. But if I want to use a checkbox and if I later on I decide to do something like uh, sort the information that's in the row or hide the information or filter, the checkbox may not filter, hide, or move. Now in our example, that's not a problem. But if that was an issue, I might use an active X control rather than a form control. But later on that, to get back to the form control, I'm going to OK my chain. I'm going to go to the control tab, indicate which cell this is going to be linked to. Press the OK button. And I would just repeat that process for all the other ones, which I already took the liberty of doing before this training session. So I'll just zoom out of the controls and test it out. If I click in the checkbox, it populates the cell with true. And if I take the checkbox off, it populates the cell with false. And vice versa, if I take the statement that's in column F out, it removes the check state. 